Welcome, everybody, to the N-Word for Nerd podcast. I am your host, the corny one himself, Jason. I am here with my host, as always, starting off with Jason number A, the Duke of all nerds. Jason, what's going on, man? Another day, another dollar. Or trying to be a squirrel, just trying to get a nut. What's that rat lyric song? I don't know. Go on. I mean, you can always be a man trying to get a nut, too. So. <laughs> yeah, I say we're all trying to get a nut, my dude. <laughs> Uh, that I'm here always as the token white guy. We have Jaron here. Jaron, what's going on, token? Hey, how's it going? <laughs> well, again, everybody, if you're checking us out here, remember to like, share, subscribe on all places that you hear Canon Circus. That is YouTube, Facebook, Spotify, podcasts, and everywhere we are at. So please check us out there. And without further ado, welcome to the show and head into Geek and Nerd News. News. This is the one we're really going to have to talk about. Let's just call it spade a spade. Scarlett Johansson, that's, man, that's she's trying to get her money. <laughs> get she, She's trying to get her money. So Scarlett Johansson is suing Disney for reportedly $50 million in lost uh, income because they decided to show Black Widow on streaming and in theaters simultaneously. Let's start with Jaron because he thinks she's gross. What do you feel about Scarlett Johansson <laughs> trying to Here's get her money? <laughs> Here's the thing that kills me. This is she is literally twisting the faucet. There are like 10 more lawsuits now of mm-hmm. movies that you barely remember where they're fucking suing their like let's let's be real fucking honest about how movies are made. You can hide a lot of money if you're good at what you're doing, and now people are gonna that it, it's a come up and it is what it is fuck the studios for literally milking the talent of the writers milking the talent of the actors milking the talent of the directors to make 30 fold what any of them do mm-hmm. let's see an actual reckoning she started it I mean, I, I've looked online. There are like some, there's some people that I'm like, are you? They're also <laughs> suing. And I'm like, all right, let's see how that goes. But it's, it's opening the, the she twisted the knob and then the water is flowing now. So, I mean, uh, God bless her for being uh, brave. Uh, if you're, if you're outside of it, looking in, everybody that works, for Disney Marvel has you know been taken care of their balls have been fluffed their vaginas have been touched i mean their boobs have been what whatever whatever like like they've been happy whatever the female equivalent of what i just said was so um i can't say it out loud <laughs> yeah i know i know i know that all sounded horrible i'm not a fan of it uh apologies for the last 30 seconds at any rate um they you have these people, the the these people that you love and you watch, and it's again over the span of a decade. So when at some point they talk ill about the process that has brought us all as viewers and as actors and as as producers and everything else here, I mean, that's a big fucking deal, right? Because Robert Downey was rolling this uh chris evans his boy all all of these people were excited to be on the train and now we have somebody that's like but that train isn't great hold on hold on decisions were made that made me feel like i wasn't a part of the train and you excluded me based on something so let's talk about it so yeah i mean i'm curious how this all pans out this is Honestly, this isn't the same as like, you know, Donald Trump saying that the election was stolen. This has to go to court and the courts will decide and there this will be a big deal. So I don't think I I, I don't know if Disney's going to settle for 50 million. They might. Right. Pace. Yeah, they might. They might. But we'll see. All right, Duke. What do you got? Oh, yeah. Get her money. She needs. I mean, it's it's. You know this. If you did work for a, a company and you were promised X amount of percentage points at the box office, thinking that you know there was going to be a box office, 
and then they go and say, oh, no, it's not going to be a box office. We're just going to drop it on, you know, our streaming service. And you don't get a slice of that, then you're going to be pissed because you did the job that, and you had a contract for the money. And a lot of this goes to a lot of the other streaming services like HBO Max, you know, um, Dune, all their movies are supposed to be slated to be dropping on the same day as box office. And every single one of those directors for those films and producers for those films are like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, I mean, it's great for us as consumers. You know, I get to see Suicide Squad for free ish. You know, rather than going to the movie theater and risking getting COVID, but like these are these people's like livelihoods, and yeah, we're talking about millionaires with more millions, but still, like that's what they're worth in this economy, in this situation. So pay them their money. Yeah, we're all part of this society. <laughs> we live in a society. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, that's another great episode <laughs> of the N Word for Nerd podcast. I thank you all for Please listening. I thoroughly hopefully you enjoyed the content that you heard from us. If you did enjoy that content. Please share it with everybody, but more importantly, we need you to subscribe to us on Head Cannon Circus on Facebook, YouTube, and all the places you listen to podcasts. Please. We're excited to have you here, and thank you all for listening. Please remember to comment below, and because I know what you just heard probably made you upset, regardless of what topic you were listening to. We probably pissed somebody off, and tell us how we're wrong, or at least tell us how you're or wrong. How or how Jared right. is wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Who is your favorite superhero? <laughs> Yeah, that's that all down there in the bottom and then I guess we as always was signing off here uh, Jaren any closing words you want to say to everybody out there uh, Jason is wrong about Robin all right goofy little fuck <laughs> and Jason, Not Jason number eight, Robin. any closing words Jaren is wrong about everything <laughs> not just about Robin just about everything in general be, be kind to one another and tip your tip your your servers and also Batman is a fucking superhero. No, nope. it also just feels he's good a rich guy with arguing with Jaron for once on the show. We'll see you guys next.